disgust. Oh, suit yourself. Hey, hello, Aunt Sally. Hey, what for you got that ticket thing round your neck? I should have thought that was extremely obvious, even to a glorified Haybell like you. I am selling myself for money to make myself an Aunt Sally of means. Oh. What's an Aunt Sally of means, Aunt Sal? I wouldn't expect someone with a turnip impersonating a head to understand. An Aunt Sally of means, Wetzel, is a lady what lives in a huge mansion and drinks terrier water and staggers around under the enormous weight of glittering jewels. Oh. Yeah, how much money do you expect to make flogging yourself off? Half a million, I shouldn't wonder. Maybe more. Maybe even 13,000. In that case, Aunt Sally, how about making a small loan to his eminence to pro man? He's a bit short of readies at the minute, and as you're planning to make such a huge amount, I thought perhaps you could spare a hundred or three. The crewman? I ain't giving any of my wealth to the crewman. Do you think I am a blooming charity? Yeah, but Aunt Sally's in an awful pickle at the minute. If you don't get hold of some money soon, you'll have to give up scarecrowing. Where's all gummage? I ain't giving away one cent. You're scaring away my prospective customers. And if you don't push off, I shall call the manager and he will chuck you out like the bag of dead grass that you is. Aunt Sally wouldn't do that to poor old Wurzel. was only trying to help out his eminence. Push off! But Aunt Sally, you don't understand. Get away! <laughs> Who did that? He did? I never! He's drunk. I ain't too! Come here, you! You're gonna win it then. What? Fury contest. Friday. Depends. On what? Well, it depends on what I find to wear. Is it an important beauty contest? Well, it's the only one this year, if that's important. Of course it's important if it's the only contest. <coughs> Funny looking animal, isn't it? Real savage if you ask me. <coughs> See? Franny knows you ain't taken to her. She can tell. They always can. Well, if you are going to enter this contest, what sort of deco you have in mind? For instance, what sort of colour? Diamonds. Diamonds is always high class. Or emeralds. Emeralds is always posh. Real emeralds? Oh, no, not real emeralds. Still, <laughs> Franny wouldn't know the dip, would she? Well, I've enjoyed our interesting little chat. I'm going to go and find myself a dress. Ta -ta. Dress? What kind of dog she got? Aunt Sally! Aunt Sally! Aunt Sally, please stop! Aunt Sally! The best little bum! Cowboy's nearly bummed up! Tell me to stop Aunt Sally, please! Behind a lady's skirt, hiding yourself like the great coward that you always is. Call yourself a man. Huh? Yeah, well, I ain't a man. I'm a scarecrow, so there. Yes, and a very disgusting one, too. What are you doing in the park, anyway? Nothing. I was busy doing nothing when these pesky little varmints attacked me suddenly. Filled me full of holes, so they did. So if it comes on to rain, I'll be all leaky. Yes, well, never mind about that. I've got a very important job for you. I have decided, Wurzel Gummidge, that you shall have the very great honour for to accompany me shopping. Shopping, eh? Mm -hmm. What are we going shopping for, Aunt Sally? Parcel of crumpets, perhaps, have some cherry biscuits and jam, or even a couple of sticks of black pudding. Black pudding? What makes you think my dainty fingers would soil themselves on something so common and working class as black pudding? Uh, I didn't think, Aunt Sally. I ain't got me thinking there, Don. I should have known better. You certainly should. No, we're not going to go shopping for cakes or biscuits or that disgusting black pudding. We are going to go shopping for a dress. Yes, of course we are, Sally. Of course we are. What do we need to buy a dress for, Aunt Sally, if I make so bold as to ask? We are not going to buy a dress, Wurzel. You are going to buy a dress for me. A rich, costly dress of superlative quality in which I am going to win a very important beauty contest. And you're going to buy me earrings and dainty shoes and get my hair done, on which I shall hang a tarara. And we are going now. Excuse me, sir, madam. I am the manager, Mr Birkinshaw. May I inquire just exactly where you think you're going? Where? Going. You have the infantry to ask the Lady Aunt Sally, which is what I am, where I am going to pertinent. Oh, apologies, Your Ladyship, I didn't recognize you. But who is this disreputable individual following you? Disreputable? This individual? 
individual happens to be my Balta and bodyguard of many years long standing, almost part of the family. Except, of course, he is just a servant. But he's got straw all over him, dirtying the shop. Well, of course he's got straw all over him after feeding my string of Arabian racehorses. Now show me the posh dress department right away and don't fuck about. This way, please. <laughs> What's he up to? Something awful. Miss Nightingale, please, over here right away and attend to a very important customer, the, the Lady Aunt Sally. Would you excuse me, lady? The gentleman's suiting is over there, sir. Oh, thank you very much. Well, Lady Aunt Sally, what can I interest you in? I've come to get the very best distress you have to offer for a very special occasion. And might I ask what the special occasion might be? The occasion has nothing to do with you. <laughs> but if you don't give me, well, a hint, I shall find it very difficult to know just what to suggest. A wedding? A christening? A hunt ball, perhaps? Well, seeing as how you're so blooming nosy, I'll tell you, I want a dress that'll make me look my bestest in front of a load of posh people. But what style? Uh, knee length? A ball gown? Now, what colour would you prefer? Look, what I want is something really dazzling. Loads of jewels, rubies, diamonds, a uh, king's ransom round my neck, a, a great shining tarara in my hair, so that everybody would clap and cheer and say, oh, that lady Aunt Sally, oh, she's the most beautifulest lady ever to sit a dainty foot on stage. Oh, well, if Madame wants to look like the fairy on top of the Christmas tree, then perhaps this will suit her. <gasps> Thing. Right, we'll take it. Pay the woman, Wazzle. Pay? What do you mean, pay? How much? A dress like that must be worth five, six pounds? Are you out of your mind? That dress is an original model and very reasonable at a hundred guineas. Is that a lot of money, Mrs? Certainly isn't for a dress of that quality. She's right. It certainly ain't. So pay her, Wazzle, and be quick about it. But I haven't got a hundred guineas or whatever it was the madam said. Right, we'll take it now and pay later. Wazzle! What are you doing? Uh, Emma! That's the jizz! Hey, give me that! Give me that, it's fine! Like what? Oh, I'm so sorry you're holding it. I didn't know for you, but that's my dress you're holding it. I need it. You take it to wearing dresses, Wurzel. I don't I don't wear dresses, you're holding it. I'm carrying it. I need is to get me out, done, and I'm bound to win. Look, Aunt Sally, my sister's got all the stuff for her hairdo. A proper kit won't cost you anything. I'll go and get it. See you at the barn. Beautiful, is there? Knocks spots off her. She's quite common, really. Still, I think I'll have a go at the beauty treatment, seeing as how there's no publication. <laughs> Good day, madam. Good day. I am Madam Creamy. And you are the Lady Aunt Sally. Lady Aunt Sally? But of course. I've often seen you photo in the glossiers. Fortunately, I mean fortunately for you, we have just had an appointment cancelled. Oh. So, chez toi is libre. Oh, dear, have you here at once? Number three. Yes, Madam Creamy, your hat. This is the Lady Aunt Sally, dear Dre. Penelope, for me pen pen. I want us to give her of our best. A complimentary drink? And from the looks of her, she'll need. Mm -hmm. Tell me, Lady Aunt Sally, where did you get these wonderful rosy cheeks? Oh, they're quite hard, aren't they? Yes. Are you, by any chance, suffering from any form of skin complaint? I certainly am not. But these cheeks, they feel almost like, well, wood. What do you think, dear Dre? Oh, yes, they certainly do. Well, of course they feel like wood, because they is wood. Finest beech wood. Cost a fortune to have carved. Pretty silly me, painted on by the master craftsman Seth Plummer the Elder. He was really famous, too, until he fell off his scaffolding, painting an awning, and broke his neck, and he couldn't paint no more. 
Very sad story. Mm. <laughs> Very famous beautician, was he? Seth Plummer the Elder. Well, the Elder was, yes, but the younger one wasn't because he took to the bottle and became an alcoholic and he couldn't paint eyebrows straight because he had a wobbly hand. Mm. Got to write, oh, Nutty. Oh, he had his oh, complete eccentric. Nutty as a fruitcake. Give her the numero uno treatment. Right away. The hot Penelope, maximum. It wasn't so bad, was it? And it does have the most wonderful cleansing effect. Is your furry eyes mucky? No, of course not, Lady Aunt Sally. It's just standard practice. What have you in mind for me next? Facial, of course. Deirdre, a mud pack. Total. Total. Let me old Aunt Sally scratching to come in. Why didn't you knock like other people's does? How can you knock on a sack? Oh, oh I'm so unhappy. Oh, misery is me. Aunt Sally, don't take oh. on so. There, there, oh, where's all the yeah? Now, don't start that there, weeping and snibbling. Because if you start weeping and snibbling, you start me up weeping and snibbling as well. Madam Screamy when she's a doll. She's the horrible woman that runs the beautification shop. And she's she's the horrible woman who called me a worm ridden hag. I mean, how could she say such a thing? Was hey, why? Why? Yes. I I'll tell you for why, Aunt Sally. Because she's jealous of you, that's the one. Oh. And she's jealous because you're more beautiful than her. But you're probably the most beautifulest woman in the old wild world. Holy, holy, holy oh, it, it, No, not probably, Aunt Sally, definitely. Oh. And suddenly, you're going to win this year beauty contest. Yes. Aunt Sally, why don't you let old Wurzel give you a bit of kissy kissy? That'll cheer you up. Oh, no, Wurzel. You know I hate kissy kissy, especially when you've been eating black puddings. <laughs> Wurzel, I'll let you have a little bit of mushy after won the beauty contest. <laughs> oh, all this mud all over me. I'll never get it off. Yes, you will, Aunt Sally. Don't worry. No, he, he. Old Wurzel will give you a quick rub down with his bestest handkerchief. Ugh, it's a bit mucky, isn't it? Ah, that don't matter. Muck won't show once I've blown my carrot on it. <laughs> Me now you're so close as you. Such a naughty thought never entered me yet. Oh, good. I should hope not. Especially as I'm allowing you to be so impotent with me. Oh, was Keep away. That black pudding pong something fierce. Oh. Aunt Sally, Aunt Sally, we've got it. We and my sister heard it was for the beauty contest. 
she gave it to me right away. Come on, let's set it all up. As you know, being an Aunt Sally, our hairstyles is always traditional. Oh, rather smitten with that frothy hairdo that lady's had done in her head. Oh, look at her. She must be posh. Look at the sumptuous Tarara. Wurzel, well, come here. Tell me what you think. Oh, although what you knows about fashion, I could write on off the head of a pin. If I could write, that is. I got this funny feeling I see her somewhere before. What do you think, Ditches? Ain't you seen someone like her sloshing out the pig's well down at Thurston's? Oh, don't be stupid. Well, I reckon I can do much better than her. Look at the diamonds. Anyone can see they ain't real. No, I think I'll stay with a frothy hairdo. Sure you can do it? Of course. My mum and her friends do their own hair. I've watched them millions of times. That's raw. That's raw black pudding. Well, of course it's raw. That's the way I likes it. Chewy but tasty. I wouldn't eat that rubbish if I was starving to death. I wouldn't give you any, even if you was starving, so there. How long do you think they've been, Wurzel? 111 minutes at least. Maybe even a hour. Women always take a long time. What for? Everything. Well, what? Well, what do you think? Aunt Sally. Have you got a poodle sitting on your head? No, I have not got a poodle sitting on my head. This is my new frothy hairstyle. Yeah, well, certainly is different. Well, it's supposed to be different because that's why I came here to be different, and now I am different. Understand? I'm oh, oh, setting that dirt. What it was supposed to have, it was to stop you crystallizing your betters who know more about high fashion than a common hayrick. Here is another one for good luck. But it's, but it's no need to get airy, eh, Dick? 